say, well, our goal may be a little different than what you might see other channels have. A lot of the other channels, it's full time. They're trying to replace some kind of day job they have with Amazon income, uh, with multiple income streams, all of that stuff. That's great uh, if you have the time and energy to do it. We have the time, but we don't necessarily have that kind of energy. <laughs> so. Not anymore. Been there, done that. We're done. Hello, I'm Ron. I'm Rhonda. And we're Red Barn Books. We wanted to take an opportunity to tell you a little bit about ourselves and how we became Red Barn Books. We started about a year and a half ago in our garage because Ron was bored and wanted something to do. We had moved to a small, medium-sized town in Oklahoma where I was born and raised after I retired. Ron was still working, teaching full-time, but teaching online. So he had some free time and was bored, as I said. So he had watched some YouTube videos about making some supplemental or full-time income selling something you like on Amazon. Well, books are his passion because, frankly, that's how he makes his living. And I just flat like to read. So one plus one equaled Red Barn Books. Now I'll let Ron fill you in on all the details. Yeah, after we, we moved uh, to Oklahoma, I had time on my hands. I, I, it was a new town for me, so I didn't know anybody. And I was looking for something to do that didn't cost a lot of money, you know, like golf or even fishing costs money these days. And there's lots of lakes around. But um, so I stumbled across, uh, had, I had several books that need to be, uh, I need to move, get rid of because I, we didn't have room for them in the new house. And so I started looking for how to sell them online and come across the Amazon uh, seller account. And I created a seller account, sold some books, and then created the professional account and started uh, going to thrift stores and book sales and listing books online. And a few months into it, I got a call from a, a company out of Dallas that wanted to do wanted me to come and do some consulting work. And the deal was right, so I went and did the consulting work and kind of turned the business over to Rhonda here and her cousin Pamela, who's behind the camera. And they worked out of the house for as long as they could stand it. We had <laughs> books everywhere. And so we rented a small office. And we were there for a few months, and we rented a larger office. And that's where we are now. Um, one of our goals for the next year is, well, we did the FBA pretty much. With, FBA means fulfillment by Amazon, for those of you that don't know. Um, for about a year, and that's where you send them to Amazon, and they list them, and they sell them, and they take care of everything. And that's great if you've got limited space. But the problem is, is Amazon's fees are quite uh, well, significant. And... Um, so we just we started some of the books we started keeping ourselves as we had space and now we have quite a bit of space so we can for 2020 we've decided to primarily list as what they call MFM or merchant fulfilled um, books and we'll send just a few to Amazon to keep that going but mostly we're going to list them store them ourselves we've probably got enough room to store. I know 20,000 books if we need to. Uh, we've got about 5,000 right now that we've managed to uh, get over the this right last year. year. And 700 still at, 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 at Amazon. At Amazon. Yeah. So we're at 5,700. So we're up to 5,000 books in one year. Yeah. And that's just piddle of time when we want to. Yeah, we don't work this full time at all. Like I say, I'm down in Dallas at least three days a week doing consulting work. Uh, Rhonda's retired. She doesn't want a full-time job or she'd still be working in the insurance business. Um, Pamela retired two years ago and she doesn't want a full-time job either. Mm -hmm. So we do this when we have time and when it's convenient for us. One, like I say, one, our goal may be a little different than what you might see other channels have. A lot of the other channels, it's full-time. They're trying to replace some kind of day job they have with Amazon income. Uh, with multiple income streams, all of that stuff. That's great uh, if you have the time and energy to do it. 
we have the time, but we don't necessarily have that kind of energy. <laughs> so, Not anymore. Been there, done that. We're done. So what we want to show is those of you who are uh, retired and looking for some su supplement income, we want to help you do that. You can make a decent amount of supplemental income that would pay for trips or things that you might want to do that you can't otherwise do. Um, one, it gets you out of the house and out of the TV and out in, you know, the public and you're doing going places, at least in, in, in our case, we have two large cities within a day's drive uh, and we have several smaller cities within a day's drive that we go to library sales, thrift stores, you know, and we always make it a point to go dinner and, and do other things. And so it's, it's, we found it a very fun and rewarding way to uh, spend our time and make a little extra money while we're doing it. Um, so Rhonda, you have anything else you want? I just want to acknowledge, um, Ron mentioned Pam, my cousin, who uh, helps me. Actually, she keeps Ron and I in line. We rely on her more and more and more. Uh, sometimes she will be uh, in front of the camera instead of behind it. Um, she's making faces. She's at, making you know. faces, so it's very hard to concentrate right now. But she's a lot of fun. She's a lot of help, and we have a lot of fun. And um, she's just learned the business from the ground up, just like I have. And um, we really appreciate Pamela. But you'll see her soon, and we want you to um, take something away that maybe we've learned and do something different. Whether it's right, it's wrong, I don't think there is such a thing. But maybe we can give you some hints that will help you um, and have some fun along the line. It's all about having fun at this time. Yeah, we're new at this, and so um, we're new at the book business still. We're learning every day. We're also brand new to making these videos. Um, if you want to get notifications when we post videos, my goal is to try to have a video posted every week of, of something we're doing. And um, but it, to get notified when we do that, you need to press the little notification bell that's over kind of in the bottom right hand corner of your screen there. And you can subscribe to the channel. Uh, we want to also we want to create this channel as a source of income for us. Right. And we need a thousand subscribers to do that for YouTube to let us modify, uh, monetize this this channel. So we'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe. We uh, certainly appreciate it if you press the like button. Uh, from what I understand, from everything that I've learned, that that is a, uh, YouTube sees that as a, a measure of the level of engagement that our subscribers or viewers are getting, and it's it's an important metric that they look at. So we'd appreciate it if you would like, subscribe, and push the little bell. And I think you have to push it twice to get the notifications to get it. So with that said, we're going to sign off here. I'm Ron. I'm Rhonda. We're Red Barn Books. Read on.